uh, the construction site for the Madison Public Market. So specifically, that's 202 North 1st Street. Um, so just over there is North 1st Street. Uh, and just beyond this building um, right here is East Washington. Uh, concrete uh, flooring, which we're seeing happening right now. Uh, when this is complete, the market will use this as a space for uh, recycling compactors, uh, uh, trash compactors, and a loading dock space. For what we don't see currently is underneath, uh, we have our stormwater management system um, that adheres to our city ordinances for stormwater. The crews are prepping uh, the EFIS, which is the exterior cladding of the facility, uh, for um, uh, repair of kind of major cracks. But just beyond, we're starting to see a triangle that's going to be a bioretention basin for uh, some some of the uh, stormwater management system. Um, and now what we're looking at is the other side of our uh, loading dock area. But this will be a main entry point for folks um, getting to the uh, site by car. Um, something we didn't point out is there's also a public entry near the loading dock um, as well. So that could be used as a secondary entry point for folks that are going into the market ready hall. Where we're standing now is a uh, pedestrian space, uh, one of a few uh, that are throughout the facility. Uh, so uh, the market operator can use this for all sorts of things like um, small farmers markets or get togethers or an extension of the public market itself. Uh, but this uh, is where the uh, bike corral will be located. So if you're um, getting to uh, the public market by uh, bike, you most likely will be parking uh, where you see that um, um, uh, sewage structure um, over there. Um, and then your main entry point is going to be into this facility right here through the double double doors. Uh, so we're going to go inside now. We're going to jump through an overhead door um, that will be replaced and it'll be a nice kind of glazed uh, door here. Um, so this isn't a typical way of entering the facility, but maybe every once in a while we'll be able to do that. The, the overhead doors are going to be operational and used throughout uh, the year. Um, what we've entered into is a large thoroughfare. Um, the way that this has been designed is this is one of the main ways of connecting through the entire space. So we can look all the way down and see the other exterior wall from here. Uh, and if we turn around, we see uh, the um, uh, East Johnson exterior wall. Some of the details that we're seeing now that is being constructed is a whole lot of mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, uh, which uh, in their own right is really interesting and exciting and a huge part of this this building. Uh, the uh, construction groups have done an amazing job of like working with the design and kind of working with the existing conditions. Um, another item that you're seeing here is this gray uh, structure. Uh, this is uh, known as the canopy system. Um, it's the higher datum point or the 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 roof of all of our um, tenant spaces. So where we're gonna go to next is the market hall. Right now we're in the entry hall. We could go down this way, and this is kind of indicative of the way the design is, is we have these small little streets that kind of get us throughout the facility. Uh, but we're gonna keep on this main thoroughfare that I was speaking about. Uh, since it's so wide, we'll be able to use this for a variety of things. Um, the operator could have temporary stalls in the large main corridor if they so desire. We can kind of walk over here. We start to get a feeling of the natural light, which is really exciting in my opinion, um, just kind of flooding in um, into this area right here. So we're actually inside of vendor space right now, uh, but this will be a publicly accessible area to come in and out. A completely different experience from where we just were. So we have double height space um, and uh, a lot going on. Uh, right now, but really this space is going to be pretty open and adaptable. Um, so kind of similar to what we saw outside, we have some large open spaces that will be able to be used for a wide variety of things. So this shared kitchen um, on a day-to-day -day basis will be used by vendors for prep work, um, but it can also be used to uh, service um, the Market Ready Hall as well. And one of the main features of the Market Ready Hall that most folks will see is our uh, cistern system. So uh, what you're seeing is a rainwater collection system. Any water or rainwater, I should say, that um, falls onto the facility uh, will be diverted to these three um, uh, cisterns um, and then um, pre-filtered and used for gray water activities. Yeah, you know, I'm a one small part to a very, very large group of folks that have like worked decades to get this completed. And I think we're all like mesmerized by construction. It's, it's happening, right? And the culmination of everyone's work is like starting to be realized, which is very exciting. I think for the community, uh, you know, they've 
participated in all sorts of ways. And I'm really excited to see how they use this as a like a soft infrastructure. It's going to be a resource that will develop culture in uh, ways that nobody that was in the planning or construction process could anticipate. So I'm really excited for the community to really say, hey, this is how I'm going to use the public market. And this is how it's going to help me and my friends and, and the rest of the community in, in ways that we could have never imagined.